it's about three miles approximately from the top down to the bottom and at the highest point which we will eventually go past at the pinnacles it's 450 feet this in fact is the largest gorge of its type found anywhere in the country now the gorge was formed um, well, about three million years ago between the ice ages um, the ice started to warm up and land north of here which was ice capped the ice started to melt and the melt water started cutting through the limestone in the southern direction gradually bit by bit cutting down through reducing what we can now see and a lot of water pushed away into the cracks and crannies in the limestone and that formed the uh, numerous cave systems and underwater passageways which are found uh, throughout the Mendip Hills now we know of about 50 other caves up through here, but there's probably loads more yet to be discovered. Is it walking? Yeah. Now, if we stop looking over the, the, yeah. 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 look look the left-hand side, over there, that's all that remains of the last working quarry here in Cheddar. There's been lots of people enjoying it for picnics and knocking around, I argue. But that's called Landslip Quarry. That one uh, closed in 1906. Uh, you can clearly see there's a bit boulder fall there you know, on the right-hand side. Uh, they put the quarry into a mothball situation, they planned to reopen it, but never did, because it's just been too dangerous. So that was the end of that. So, well, to this very day, about half a mile away, um, on the other side of the cliff face there, they do still extract stone on a daily basis. I'm not too sure how much comes out at the moment, but it was like 6,000 tonnes a day three years ago, so obviously a lot less at the moment. Sheep. Um, they should be yeah, come to Scotland from St. 